Alright guys, so we're down here at Dusty Ridge Access, which is just the next access up from uh, from my shop here. Uh, this is our second dive of the day. We're going to do a little bit more treasure hunt here. Uh, we we use this access quite a bit for spear fishing as well, so hopefully we'll get some catfish speared on it. Um, last time we was out here though, we actually came across a gravestone. We're going to do a little bit more research while we're here today. I'm going to try to get some better photos and some video of that gravestone. Maybe we can find out... Um, who the family is, find out if they put it there. Maybe this was original gravestone from before the lake was dammed up, or maybe it was just vandalism. Somebody stole it and threw it in. So we're going to try to look at that really good. Uh, I do know there's a couple bicycles and stuff down here. I'm not sure we're going to try to bring them up, uh, but we'll hopefully find them again and see what else we get into. So stick around with us, and we'll see how good of a dive we have.
All right, guys, so we just finished up with our second dive today. Uh, we was out here at Dusty Ridge Access doing a little bit of diving, looking for some treasures, which we've come across quite a few. Uh, we was also doing a little search for the um, gravestone that we found prior. We found it a couple weeks ago. Uh, we was able to actually get some of the debris off of it and actually find a, a death date on it. So now we can go run the person's name and the death date and hopefully try to find the family. We was going to see if maybe the family put it there or maybe it's been there for years. Um, or you know who knows could have just been somebody stole it and threw it in but uh, show you another uh, few things that we found real quick found this mag light here uh, don't know how long it's been in there but the button still works on it hopefully we can get it cleaned up get new batteries in it hopefully it'll work uh, of course found golf ball we always find golf balls in the water um, this is an old-timey milk bottle probably from the 50s or 60s it's always neat to find those in there. I've actually got a whole case of them at, at the house that I found over the years. Found a pair of shears here. They actually appear to be in pretty good condition. Uh, just a little bit of corrosion on them. We'll get them guys cleaned up in ultrasonic cleaner and uh, be good to go. Found several pairs of sunglasses here. Here's a pair of Berkeley fishing glasses. Looks like the uh, lenses are about warped out on them. Got a couple pair of uh, just safety glasses here that you know we tend to always find stuff like that around docks. Here's a pair of optic optic edge glasses not sure if they're worth much or uh, what the deal but we'll try to get the lenses cleaned up on them see what they're worth uh, of course we've got some bungee cords we always find bungee cords when we come out to docks uh, found a spoon here the spoon is actually says stainless steel china um, so not sure how long it's been down there it wasn't actually here at the docks it was over uh, to the left a little bit to where we're at today Found a bracelet here. It's got, um, looks like a, a firing cap here or a primer to a shotgun shell. Appears to be a leather bracelet. Be pretty cool. We'll dry it out, clean it off. A um, couple other things. We found a student ID from Catawba Valley Community College. Uh, I'm not going to show you the name or the picture here, but maybe we try to give that back to the college or locate the student, give her her card back. Found a set of car keys here. Not sure what it's for, maybe a Mazda. Um, not sure, but appears to have a Dreamcatcher keychain, uh, some type of rainbow keychain, and Club Deporta. I'm sorry, I only speak English. I ain't got a clue what it says. Also found a credit card here. Um, probably uh, contact the Sheriff's Department. Turn this in to them. Uh, not sure, really. It's got a business name on it, doesn't have a. Uh, person's name so we'll get that turned in it's just a visa credit card but yeah all in all pretty good finds that we got some other things that we found down there which some of them we knew were there there were two bicycles which we came across and there was an old safe that's been there for many many years i've been seeing that safe for many many years so uh, maybe we'll try to bring it up one day i might let some of my search and recovery students do that you know practice using lift bags with it but yeah all in all pretty good dive today found not too expensive treasures the glasses will probably get trash they're not worth anything but um milk jug always love finding these old milk bottles that was pretty cool of course if i can get the mag light up and going it's probably a 10 15 20 dollar mag light and of course set of shears here probably five to ten bucks so not too bad but fine but yeah i appreciate you coming along on our dive today this is like i said our second one from today uh we did one earlier which is the video you've probably just watched before this one um where we found some neat stuff there but um, if you've got any questions about our dives or you want us to come dive your area, simply put it down in the comment section below. Shoot me an email or whatnot. We'll be happy to come out and see what's underneath your dock or, you know, wherever your little swim area is. But, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.